is thought to tell you that and I see me your favorite for the comment. So today I'll be showing the most important thing in body comment, which is called breather preparation. But before then, I'll show you advice. Please go back to my last video so you get the fundamental understanding of what you are actually doing here today. Okay, and please how about organ me, organ me, share now, like now, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. So immediately I release a brand new video, you get it, it pops up on your phone automatically. Then you will subscribe, then you then you checking uh, God code on YouTube. No, it's not necessary. Okay, so whenever I release a new video, it pops up immediately. So that's it by the way. So what is breathing? Breathing refers to the early stage of the chip where utmost care is required for to ensure their health, safety and growth of the flow. Now what do I mean by growth of the flow? When I meant by growth of the flow, I mean from day old chick to eight weeks. Yes, eight weeks. You will, I, why is it a good I say at higher price when I read them for eight weeks. So here now, I'll be using a case study of just 100 bed for what I'll be showing you guys today. Yes, just 100 bed. Now what are the equipments you need for breathing? You need your feeder. You need your feeder. You need your drinker. You need your heat source. You need your light source. You need your height adjuster. And you need your breathing guard. Now, when I mean by breathing guard, breathing guard just it means a circular form. What's the importance of your breathing guard? It helps to restrict their movement. It helps to restrict their movement and it helps to control their breathing behavior. That is just breathing guard. But I'll be using my breathing guard. Actually, here is the another space inside here. But I put it there. So here will be open for them for just 100 beds. Yes, so that's how I do my own. I'll be using here for my breathing guard. But before them, what are the most important thing I do first? Now the most important thing I do first, I go to a wood store. I go get my wood shaving. Please, I would strongly advise as a rural poultry farmer, don't use sawdust. Please, don't use sawdust. Now, what are the disadvantages of sawdust? Sawdust affects their respiratory tract. And according to the name, sawdust is very dusty. And when your parents inhale them, it, 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 it disturbs their respiratory tract. And gorillas can be so funny that they will see feed. They will leave feed and be feeding on sawdust. Now it might not affect them at that period, but when they get to four weeks, five weeks, you're to start dying. And you start running head tasket after you're very looking for medication and antibiotics to give them. No, please. The issue is your sawdust you've been using. Your sawdust you've been using have been affecting, affecting them badly. So please don't use sawdust. What I'll advise, there are many, there are many different materials you can use. You can use paddy hawk if it's available to you. You can use straw if it's available to you. You can use sand if it's available to you. You can use straw if it's available to you. You can use wood shaving, which you're gonna using today, if it's available to you. You can even use dry leaf. This is a very important. Please don't use sawdust. Please. As a poultry farmer, don't use sawdust. Okay, thank you. Now when I get my wood shaving from a store, I know you guys most most of you come from my store and sawdust is, is very cheap. You don't pay for sawdust. My wood shaving is expensive. Wood shaving is just a bag here in my area, just one thousand naira. And when you get it, it's okay. Don't use sawdust. Sawdust might be cheap, but it will kill your bed massively. Okay, thank you. So when I get my wood shaving, I dry them for two days. Now when I mean I dry them for two days, I apply chemical. Now that chemical I apply for the help to kill the unseen bacteria and insects permanently you don't have seen. Now, when I mean two days, around nine in the morning, we bring them out. By that time, strong sun should have come out. We bring them out. Around evening, by tree, you take them in. You do it for two days, and you keep it aside. Now, you come to your breathing house. Now, there was some the technology called whitewashing the breathing house. You whitewash your breathing house. Yes, whitewash it thoroughly. Now, I will advise you to wash your house very early in the morning. Yes. I whitewash it very early in the morning. So uh, around 12, it has dry. Then you fumigate it, you apply chemical on it. Then you air tight it, you close it for two days. Now, air tightening helps to kill all the insects, insects, the termites, the ants, even scorpion. It helps to kill them faster. Now, after two days, you open the house, make sure you open everywhere so that the toxic smell will go out and fresh air comes into the house. Then you sweep out everything. That is the most important thing. Please note this. That is the most important thing. Your wood shaving, drying your wood shaving, because they might be wet when you get there, and white washing your house. So that is it. Now, let's go back to the first thing you do when you are done with all these things. Now, your wood shaving, spraying your wood shaving. Now, it is very important to use, it is very advisable that your wood shaving should be applied five feet deep, five inches deep from the ground. You can use your long 
thing has to make sure you push your whisper by five inches deep, you see? Five inches deep, inches deep. Now, why is it advisable to apply your wishing five inches deep? Now, it helps to control amino. It helps to ca control carbon monoxide. It helps to, it helps your bed to be, to be strong, to stand firm on the ground. That is our, our yeah, that is why wishing is very important. Now, the second thing after you apply the wishing, you use your newspaper. Now, what is the importance of the newspaper? Newspaper helps to control. It trains your bed to feed on feed. That's a nice English, feed on feed. It trains your, <laughs> it trains your bed to feed on feed. Now, which um, newspaper differentiates the shop with shaving and the feed? Okay, that is why I'm pleased it's advisable. Remove your newspaper immediately after two days or three days. Why is it so? Because when your cheek grows to that three days, they start excreting more shit. And that shit is always what you at that period. Now, when they shit, when they excrete, the excrete that gets wet in the um, newspaper. Now, the newspaper stick in the washing. Eventually, these guys feed on it. So, when they feed on it, they is another issue. Because, brothers would like to, if they see new things, they would like to know what is it. Even though it's a physics, even though it's anything, they would like to peck on it to know ah, what is this. So, please be careful. Okay? Be careful. Now, what next? What next? Your heat source. Now, I will advise program for farmers. Please, if you are using, if you are running 100 bed, 200 bed, 300 bed, 400 bed, 500 bed, 600 bed, 700 bed, 1000 bed, I will advise, please, use heat source charcoal. Now, why is charcoal very important? Charcoal is not that expensive. I know it's very, it's very difficult to use charcoal. And it's not that expensive than using gas. Gas is very expensive. Now, if a kg of gas is 800 naira, now can you use a kg of gas for breathing? It's not possible. So, our advice, please use our advice, please use charcoal. And when you're using charcoal, make sure you light it outside the filter before you bring it in. Now, when you light it, make sure smoke is not removing, it's not bringing us smoke. Okay, when it's not bringing us smoke, then you can bring it. Now, I will still advise as a cold farmer. Get a thermometer. I know if you put it over, you say, ah, thermometer is very expensive. Now we get thermometer. No. Or if you can't get a thermometer, use a stock sense. Now, what do I mean by use a stock sense? When you enter your breathing house, how do I know that my breather, my breather, my breathing house is hot, my breather is hot? How do I know my breather is cold? How do I know that it's very okay? Now, this is how I know. When I enter my breather, I use my st stock sense. Now, what do, I, what do I mean by stock sense? Now, when your bed cluster, on the heat source, that means your Buddha is your Buddha has cold. It's very cold. So when they leave the Buddha, when they leave the heater, when they leave the heater and scan and, and touch around the wall, that means it is too hot for them. They can't stand it. It is too hot. Now when they see when you see them scattered, it's okay. Now when you see them in a particular place, holding a particular place, that means that a draft air is coming out from a particular angle, which is not good to them. It's a killer. Okay, so please, use your stock sense if you can't get a thermometer. Thank you. Now, another thing is your height adjuster. Now, height adjuster is very important. Now, I actually use this height adjuster. Now, I actually use height adjuster to increase, to increase the, to increase the feed. Now, I can, I use height adjuster to increase the feed. Okay, now, how do I increase my feed? I increase my feed every week. After the two weeks of breathing. I increase it every week. Now, I start I increase it to the crop level, to the eye level, or to the back level. It is very important. It's very easy. So as a body from you can see what I use my high You can use anything in as much as it's working for you. Okay. So you can just every week, week one, after growing week one, you can increase it. You can increase it. You can increase it. You can increase it. Can increase it. You get that's it just the terminology. It's nothing hard there. That is just that thing. So and now I have my um, light source. I actually use it as a heat source as well because of the yellow board. Now light helps them to see their feet and to feed very well. Without light, the best can feed. So with light, they feed very well. And I have my external light because of you know, Nepal and Nigeria. So I have my external light which I use at night when there's no light. So I have my water adjuster. Funny enough, you know, I can't take my adjuster. I can't take water adjuster to be off. So I use water, I use 
this as my water adjuster. How, now, how do I do it? Every week, the way I did my, the way I do my feeder, every week I increase it. See, every week I increase it. Yes, every week I increase it. Now, this is what I use for my water adjuster. You can use anything that is easy is working for you. So that is it. That is it. Now, my drinker. Remember, I told you I'm using just hundred bed. Now, I'll be using two drinker for my brooding. Please note, I'll be using two drinkers for my brooding. Two drinkers for my brooding. Why? A drinker is for fifty beds. A drinker is for fifty beds. I immediately after breathing, I change to a bigger one, a bigger drinker. So take note, please. Now another thing is my feeder. So for that breathing, for breathing, I'll for breathing, I'll use feeder tree. Like by the way, I explained about water, my drinker. I'll be using feeder tree. I'll be using tree. Now I will change this tree immediately after three or four days. Why? Because they waste, they eventually end up wasting the feed. So I change it to feeder. Because they can't waste it. With feed, yeah, they can't waste it. They definitely can't waste it. So they waste more feed here than here. Okay? So that is by the way. So another thing I want to talk about. I'll actually explain everything here. Another thing I'll talk about is please, your clothing. What you wear in a poultry farm. Now, this is what I put on. This is what I always wear. This is what I always wear when I buy in my poultry farm. Yes, I choose to wear it. Please don't wear the clothes, your casual clothes, the clothes you wear, you wear at home. You still wear that enter inside. This, this flip flop you wear outside of the poultry house, you still wear that inside. And no, you can contact diseases outside and bring them in, which is nothing, which is not. Which is not good. It's a killer. But when this is outbreak comes in, it, it, it kills your bed. It's up. Okay, so please, our advice: don't wear, don't use the clothes you wear outside of your house. Go down and you wear that common side. It kills your bed. So that's why we're coming to bowel security. Most of our poultry farmers don't really get the standard of bowel security. Now there are three types of bowel security. We have the conceptual bowel security, the uh, the structural bowel security, bowel security. And the operational power security. Now, when you have these three power securities in your body farm, trust me, you will never have an encounter with an outbreak of disease. So, please, I will advise, please, be careful when you are in, when you, be careful with the things you wear in your body farm. And please, don't wear jewelry in your body farm. It's not a best. Always cover your head. I will advise you buy an, a cover a cover all. Yes, yeah, cover all for your cover all for your poultry house. It is very important and make sure you clean it up when you leave the farm and when you are entering the farm, make sure you clean it up. Okay. And please, after checking all these things, there's something called equipment check. Check if all these things are working. Check if your height adjuster is working. Like the other day I gave my height adjuster, I never knew it. It has spoiled. Now to just readjust it again. Check if your drinkers, your feeder, if your drinker is leaking, you change it. If your feeder is not okay, you change it. If your light source is not charged well or your bulb is not charged well, you change it. So these are very important things. You can go back to my last video so you get the fundamental things of what I just explained. Now. My last video will get put you on the right lane of what I've actually explained here today. So please and also please like my channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Okay, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it.